A little consideration will show that the engine has a maximum speed either at Q or at S. This is due to the fact that the flywheel absorbs energy while the crank moves from P to Q and from R to S. On the other hand, the engine has a minimum speed either at P or at R. The reason is that the flywheel gives out some of its energy when the crank moves from A to P and Q to R. The difference between the maximum and the minimum energies is called as maximum fluctuation of energy. Next topic is determination of maximum fluctuation of energy. The turning moment diagram for a multi-cylinder engine is, is shown by a wavy curve in figure 16.4. The horizontal line AG represents the mean torque line. Let A1, A3, A5 be the areas above the mean torque line and A2, A4, A6 be the areas below the mean torque line. These areas represent some quantity of energy which is either added or subtracted from the energy of the moving parts of the engine. There is a figure. A flywheel stores energy when the supply is in excess and release this energy when energy is in deflate. Let the energy in the flywheel at A is equal to E. Then from figure 16.4 we have, this is the figure, energy at B is equal to E plus A1, energy at C, E plus A1 minus A2, energy at D, E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3, energy at E, E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 minus A4, energy at F, E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 minus A4 plus A5, and energy at G is E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 minus A4 plus A5 minus A6. And this is equal to energy at A, that means cycle repeats after G. Let us now suppose that the greatest of these energies is at B and least at E. Therefore, maximum energy in flywheel at point B and this is E plus A1 and minimum energy in the flywheel is at point E and this is E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 minus A4. See here the figure 16.4 determination of maximum fluctuation of energy. This ordinate represents crank angle and this ordinate represents turning moment. There is the equation maximum fluctuation of energy means del E is equal to maximum energy minus minimum energy. That means E plus A1 which is maximum energy minus minimum energy E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 minus A4. After calculating we find here A2 minus A3 plus A4 and this is the maximum fluctuation of energy del E. In this figure, there is those points A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And note that point at point A and at point G, the energy is only E. And we said that already point B energy is E plus A1, point C energy is E plus A1 minus A2. At D point energy is E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 at point D. E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 minus A4 at point F. E1 plus A2 minus A2 plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 minus A4 plus A5 and at point G. E plus A1 minus A2 plus A3 minus A4 plus A5 minus A6. That means only remains E. Okay. Now see here the next topic coefficient of fluctuation of energy. It may be defined as the ratio of the maximum fluctuation of energy to the work done per cycle. Mathematically, coefficient of fluctuation of energy is Ce is equal to maximum fluctuation of energy divided by work done per cycle. The work done per cycle in Newton meter or joules may be obtained by using the following two relations. Number 1, work done per cycle is equal to T mean multiply theta where T mean is equal to mean torque and theta means angle turned in radians in one revolution. And theta is equal to 2 pi in case of steam engine and 2 stroke internal combustion engine 
and theta is 4 pi in case of 4 stroke internal combustion engines. So, the value of theta varies. The mean torque T mean in Newton meter may be obtained by using the following relation, which is T mean is equal to P multiplied by 60 divided by 2 pi n. That means P divided by omega because we know that omega is equal to 2 pi n divided by 60 where p is power transmitted in watts, n is speed in rpm and omega is angular speed in radian per second which is 2 pi n divided by 16. Number 2, the work done per cycle may also be obtained by using the following relation work done per cycle is equal to p multiply 60 divided by n where n is the number of working strokes per minute and n is equal to n in case of steam engines and two stroke internal combustion engines and n is equal to n divided by 2 in case of four stroke internal combustion engines. The following table shows the values of coefficient of fluctuation of energy for stream engines and internal combustion engines. So there is the table 16.1 coefficient of fluctuation of energy that means CE for steam and internal combustion engines. Serial number one, types of engine, single cylinder, double acting steam engine, and the coefficient of fluctuation of energy, CE, is 0 0.21. Number two, cross compound steam engine, and the value of CE is 0 0.096. Number three, single cylinder, single acting, four stroke gas engine, and the coefficient of fluctuation of energy is 1.93. Number four, four cylinders single acting four stroke gas engine the value of ce is 0 0.066 and the last one number five six cylinders single acting four stroke gas engine the value of ce is 0 0.031